part of listening, which is critical of a leader. I'm contributing or making my contribution and acknowledgement that he recognized and said that he'll work with speed to ensure that during his tenure, two-thirds gender rule is implemented. I want to rise categorically and say that number one, the two-thirds gender rule as women reps, this point I'm contributing on behalf of the 47 women representatives of this nation. We have a hard-working PS and we acknowledge the work that she's doing in the event of reshuffling because the president has chosen the path of listening. Let Madam PS Anne remain there. But I'm disappointed that it is the only ministry without the CS. I know the president is listening and soon a woman CS nominee, that is the only ministry being run by a PS and a CS. We need action on that. Still on two-thirds gender rule, taking care of the interests of the women. In the financial cycle, Mr. President has chosen the path of listening. He promised the 47 women reps an additional of one billion. One billion had been given, and he promised the sanitary towels, which we received 940 in last financial year. This year, Mr. President, listen to the women representatives. We are told they are pending bills, and the sanitary parts have not been given a clear framework. We know and we appreciate Mr. President listened and removed the sanitary towels from the, Ministry of Gen from the Ministry of Education to Ministry of Gender. The students will be soon opening schools. We want to receive our sanitary towels. So I know on two-thirds gender rule, taking care of the women interests, Mr. President has listened to me. On the issue of gender-based violence, Mr. President said that he's very keen and appreciated the caucus that went and visited State House. I happen not to have been amongst them, but I know that they went there categorically to voice out the voice of the women. And on that day over the news, I saw the president said and pledged that he's giving 100 million. This 100 million, I believe, it is a good start, but not adequate, and neither meant for certain regions, but he should consider ensuring that all 47 women representatives and the deaths of the gender-based violence, whether they are bestowed at the police stations at the headquarters, we want clear engagement on this. We are calling upon Mr. President that this must happen. On his speech, I also established that the President is keen of SMEs. I want to say that on SMEs, digitalization is a key component of developing and advancing our nation. But Mr. President, we would want to say that the digital borrowing of WEF and youth economic empowerment funds is not making meaningful growth. And so let the, 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 the ordinary method that was being used and this fund, I know, this house can legislate and make it be bestowed under the women, represent, women representatives because they are the ones who take the course on affirmative action. Mr. President, as, uh, Mr. President also acknowledged the issue of education. As a teacher, I cannot fail to acknowledge his concerns. I highly acknowledge his concern that universities in this country had come to their knees. I don't know what time it's going to take this country to bring them up so that quality of education in this country is not compromised. Twice we have seen the lecturers in the same year go on strike, an embarrassing situation. I want to believe that his concern of ensuring that adequate funding to our universities will occur so that we never see lecturers be on street and we see the collective bargaining agreements adhered to. I'm also concerned on the competency. You have half a minute. Half a minute. Proceed. I'm concerned that grade nine, say eight and seven, are bestowed at the primary level. But you find that the Form 1 classrooms are going to be into waste. A concern that the Ministry of Education should check into since policy agreements are there, which is stated. Categorically meaningful engagement. There is a monster at the Teacher Service Commission. The CEO at the teachers, uh, Teacher Suffering Center, if I may call it. Never in the office, never listen to, to people. So I wonder when going, she's going to have meaningful engagement. And the teachers are suffering. 
lack of proportion, we want Nancy Macharia categorically 